What's going on YouTube? Mr. Beantown here and today I'm bringing you guys some Oregon Ducks gameplay going up against the 99 overall Alabama Crimson Tide. 99 offense, 99 defense. And uh, my opponent was, he was a good opponent. No slouch. His record at this point was similar as mine. We were both 3-1. and one. So we're both looking for a win here. We don't want to go to that 3-2 and two mark. And uh, you see that I was able to get a stop on defense in the first uh, series. And then on the first play on offense, I tried to get in fancy running the triple option. <laughs> and we uh, turned the ball over because we pitched it right into Al Alabama's player's chest. And it was a fumble. And then sure enough, two plays later, I believe, he hits me over the top for a 70-yard touchdown. That, that sucks. We could have had that. We were in great field position, or at least get a field goal on our first possession. But instead, we turned the ball over, and that gave him an opportunity to take the lead and score the first point of the game, and that's exactly what he did. And look at that. We forced that ball into coverage, and we throw an interception, our second turnover of the game. Two possessions, two turnovers, and we're down 7 nothing. Not a good start for us, but we get a huge play right there. Third and 17. We get caught on our lineman, but we're going back into coverage. We see B going across the middle of the field, and it's picked Oh, what? Dude, I read that play. I don't know how that wasn't picked off. And then the next play, he just runs it right up the middle. He's able to get a touchdown, and we're down 14 nothing after only four minutes. Uh, my offense struggling so far in this game. A couple of turnovers, a drop pass right there, as you see. But on fourth and inches, we're able to convert right there on the whip route, keeping our drive alive because we definitely needed some points here. Another stop by him on defense would put me in a real precarious spot because my defense really hasn't been able to do anything to stop his offense as he was moving down the field on me rather good, rather well on that last drive. But uh, we're not giving up. We're running the hurry up here because we caught him in a defense of uh, situation that he wasn't comfortable in. Look at that. We hit X right there with the curl route into the end zone. 13 yards. Just like that, we're only down by 7. Opponent has the ball. Once again, he's scrambling out of the pocket with uh, number 10. Who's that? A.J. McCarron, I believe that's who it is. He's one of the better quarterbacks in this game. He's like a 97 or so overall. And uh, <clears throat> so we're going into the second quarter. He's outgained me on the ground. And uh, he makes a bad read right here. And he throws an interception to number 14. He had one of his tight ends wide open. He just made a bad read. But thankfully our, our cornerback was able to catch the ball and hold us into... Uh, put us in excellent field position and we're able to get a field goal out of that drive we stalled on third down so we definitely just take our points huge third down right here he throws an absolute dot right there wow that was a great throw by my opponent great job to convert a third and 16 but we're just getting sacks left and right it seems like it seems like we probably have about four or five sacks in this game alone but good pocket presence from my opponent to move up into the pocket and he finds his tight end over the middle and back over the middle once again to his wide receiver. And he's definitely getting, he's getting the running game involved now. I definitely had have trouble this year stopping the run and the read option especially. And when you have a threat like that on the ground that you're going to run the ball, it opens up the play action. And that's exactly what happens there. He hits me over the top again. I think that was probably like a 30 to 40 yard pass. So we're down 11. And we have a second at long right now. We definitely need some yards right here. But we hit the precision inside streak it is to uh, DeAnthony Thomas. And he's putting us in good field position. Worked once, so we, try, we go back to it once again. And he hasn't made any adjustments. And look at that. DeAnthony Thomas just absolutely burns us. I believe it's a strong safety that moved down. And we're only down four points at this point. Uh, with a minute and a half left until... Halftime, uh, look at this as he get. Oh, wow. He got that first down by inches. And third and 13, he goes over the top, and I got no reaction at all from my cornerback. That that sucked, but we get him into another third down there, and he hit, throws a little rubber duck. But fourth and 12, he decides to go for it. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt, and we're able to get the sack. So we have 30 seconds left to try and get some, at least a field goal before the end of the first half and we get a nice play to the outside putting us in plus f uh, field territory we're in his side of the field and we're just looking right here and we fit a absolute 
laser beam right there to D'Anthony Thomas. We go for a field goal. It's long enough, but it's wide right. I kind of rushed that one, and it shows as we uh, as we missed a field goal. But we get the ball to start the second half, and we're just going to try and keep it simple. Out routes, drag routes, slant routes. And see, that's what happens. We go to the well one too many times, and that time it's intercepted. Our third turnover of the game. And my opponent, if he scores a touchdown here, he might be able to put this game out of reach. You see that he's going to that play action once again, but this time our cornerback jumps in front of that ball, and he gets that turnover back, but he eats a big shoulder while he's at it. So a second and seven. Go back to that precision inside streak to... Anthony Thomas he's just being left wide open and we're gonna scramble with our quarterback but instead of a is wide open hit the ball to him and I don't know why my play was running backwards there so we just try to get some sort of positive yardage out of that the game just glitched out I guess I don't know what that was oh, we did it again we went to the same play same result INT oh. We were moving the ball so well down the field too, and that sucks. But this time we get the user interception. We get caught on our lineman once again. But this time we get the interception. We don't let that ball get through to him. So, well, I've been passing the majority of this game, so we definitely want to try and get the running game involved here. And look at Anthony Thomas bouncing off tackles, bringing it down to within the two-yard line. And he's able to finish the drive off. And just like that, guys, we have the lead. We are up 24 to 21, and look at this, man. We are getting some insane pressure despite only rushing three linemen. Oh, he takes a big shot there, but he goes over the top, and we're able to knock that ball down. Fourth and 17, big play here. This could dictate the game, and he just throws a, a five-yard pass, and we get the turnover on down. So if we can at least get a field goal here, we'll be feeling great. A touchdown would be most ideal. Instead of going for the field goal, we decided to go for it. We had some confidence with the way we've been moving the ball, and thankfully it worked out for us. So we're just burning some clock now, too, because if we score a touchdown, we feel that he won't have enough time to come back, and that's exactly what we do right here. Great slant route. We were able to break a tackle, setting us up. Oh, what a pick right there. Wow, I didn't even see that coming. We get the interception from that play out on the drag route with a... Well, I think, actually, I think he was running four verticals there. So, we get the ball, and uh, we stall out. We take our points. We're up 13. It's still a two-possession game. He has a minute and a half left to try and do something. And he's he's moving the ball and getting out of bounds. You know, he's, using, he's making the right reads, but we get a sack right there on third down. He's definitely got to pull something out right here. We, he gets another sack. Wow. That must be our probably our ninth or tenth sack of this game. But he converts on fourth down. That was my Achilles heel. Wasn't able to stop him. And right there he has A wide open over the middle of the field and he finds him. So with 30 seconds left, he's definitely got to take a shot at the end zone. But he's just scrambling. We'll let him scramble with his quarterback. See, that play alone wasted about 8 to 10 seconds. But, this, eh, but that time he took a shot at the end zone. Goes for the onside, and we recover. And that pretty much is going to wrap up the game, guys. We take a couple knees. And uh, dude, this guy sent me a message after saying, I don't know, saying I got lucky at two or something. But just check out the stats, guys. If we got 11 sacks on that quarterback. That's the most sacks I've ever gotten in uh, any game of Madden or NCAA. But, uh, yeah, number six with our stop player rushing and receiving but if you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe and until next time guys thank you for watching